down at the Bath Artisan Market in a very windy uh, end of April day and I'm playing my guitar and I bumped into fellow uh, woodworker, I think I may say, Simon Webb. Now, what are you up to, Simon? Hello, Jez. I'm, uh, I'm selling my uh, hand-turned wooden pens here, hopefully. Hopefully. So, Tell me uh, more. I started making pens sort of as a business about three years ago. I spent 30 years in IT and then I decided I was going to have a complete change of career. So uh, I started making sort of high-end hand-turned wooden pens. So I make sort of pencils, ballpoints, fainting pens are my favourite. I use all sorts of exotic woods and materials. And do you know what? It's a very rare opportunity for the public to enjoy exotic woods, isn't it? Especially in the solid. Are they solid? They are solid, yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, because a pen doesn't use um, you know, a huge amount of wood, then you can use some really, really nice, you know, I use Amboina Burr, it's probably my favourite wood, which is it's starting to get quite expensive, but because you're not using a lot, you know, you can use it in something like a pen. Have you tried the sap of the Momboyoka Uka tree as ink? Not yet, Jess. No, well, <laughs> apparently... <laughs> <laughs> but I might yet. <laughs> Come on, show me one of your favourite pens. Uh, I'll show you my favourite. This, this is uh, so this is a proper pen. This is for uh, signing large checks and important documents with. Of course. This is a uh, it's a solid brass body. It's rhodium plated. It's uh, Amboina burr. Um, it's got a German nib. And what I do with these, I hand turn the bodies on these, and then they get 20 coats of acrylic, which is all then sort of hand polished back to give you a real deep sort of dipped in glass look, which I really like. So, so there's a uh, lot involved in it. It's a lot of work, it's very, very labour intensive. Mm. There's no sort of shortcut to that. Yeah, I mean, people just wouldn't realise what goes into it. What do you say, 20 coats of acrylic? 20 coats of acrylic, yeah. This is this is another interesting wood. This is, uh, this is bog oak from East Anglia. I know that. And uh, so this is a bit older than the pyramids, this wood. It's, so how old is that bog oak? It's about 5,000 years old. So uh, again, you know, I hand turn these, 20 coats of acrylic, all hand polished back to give you a real sort of flawless finish on it. So it's it's quite a unique, unique piece of wood and quite a, you know, unique pen. And so is the lathe the only bit of gear you've got? I've got several lathes. I've got a metal turning lathe yeah. and I've got wood turning lathe as well. So uh, it's all done on a lathe. It's all done on sort. a lathe, yeah, it is, yeah. Amazing, yeah. Must be very satisfying. And it, you obviously buy in the parts. I buy in the metal parts, and then some of them I do some sort of customising to, which I'm just doing at the moment. Can you etch people's initials on them, or? No, I did look at that actually. Mm. We we did try laser engraving into the wood, but it just ends up sort of ruining the, the look of the wood. I think so. It's yeah. not something I'm. If somebody wants it done, we we can do it. But it's, mm. it's not something I'm particularly keen on. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the other thing I do is a lot of bespoke work. So sometimes people will. Um, give me a piece of wood that's got some sentimental value to them and I will oh, turn nice. that into a pen and or couplings for them. Yeah, oh, that's great. I mean the finish on that is absolutely incredible. I mean that's a hand finish, is it? Yeah, it's, it took a long time to mm. sort of, you know, get to that level where I was happy enough with the, with mm. the finish that I was happy to sort of sell them to, to the general public. Yeah, so. So from a Victorian church, Christchurch in Swindon. How do you find your woods? Do you, uh, do you look online? Do you just, do, yeah, do you I mean, want to find things that have actually Yeah, sort of that's money? exactly what I really, really want to do is find woods with history with a sort of story behind them. So, do you put that information in with the... Uh, yeah, yeah, the, so the, the pens will come yeah. with a certificate yeah, that yeah, tells yeah, you exactly yeah. what, what it is. So I've done pens at the, uh, the Steam Museum in Swindon. Okay. And it uses wood that it was part of the Swindon Railway Works. Well, so people can own a bit of the works. I'm going to take one of these. Please do. Yep. Yeah. So there we go, that's uh, 170, well, about 170 year old church pew from, from Christchurch in Swindon. So they were sort of refitting the inside and they, they disposed of some of the, the pews and I thought it would be a lovely thing to do to turn some of them into, uh, into pens. Well thanks very much, it's just a brief kind of glimpse into the world of your fountain pens and um, Wish you good luck today. Great seeing you again, Jason.